So this week we decided to have a few days off and uh, we've put together a video of a day in the life of when we've got guests so you can see what we do for our guests and the work that's involved. Um, our few days off got shortened somewhat but um, you'll see why later in the video. So 7.15 in the morning and uh, I've been up now for half an hour or so. I've got pastries in the oven, pan au chocolat and croissants. Uh, getting ready for guest breakfasts. So this is the pastries out of the oven and uh, just now got bread in the oven. And Barbara's preparing the cold platter. Pastries are out for guests. Barbara's wafting the smell around the house just to entice them down to breakfast. Just about to get bread out of the oven. Barbara's doing the cold platters. So we've got table set for a two and a four. We got six in last night. And uh, just about to lay out for the platters. And while the guests are having breakfast, I've come to the laundry room. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the cats uh, bowls. This is where they eat. So they've had breakfast earlier. It's just Millie here. Um, but all their bowls from yesterday are in the sink, so I will sort that out now. Titchy's come to join me. She's just had her breakfast, or it might be second breakfast, I expect. Um, cat bowl's done. This is the old shower tray from upstairs we're using as a sink. It's enormous, but uh, that's what we used to stand in and have a shower when we first got here. Stripping beds. After the guests have left. And now for all the washing. So I've cleaned through the tropical bathroom. So all the surfaces have been wiped. Clean the loose sink, bath, shower, shower trap, finished loo rolls, washed floor. And the most important thing is get rid of all the spiders and spiders webs because we're so close to the woods with this bathroom, they do come in. And this corner usually gets them, so I always have a good look at there. So clean towels, flannels, glasses, all ready. So the tropical bedroom's all finished. Everything's been dusted, hoovered. Check the ceiling for spider's webs. And, um, ah, I seem to have left a bar of chocolate on. <laughs> that just makes cleaning that much more fun. So that's the red bathroom, the tent room, en suite, cleaned. Sink bath, loo, shower, shower trap, empty the bin, wipe down the table, wash stand. I always check the curtains as well, unruffle them, give them a shake, put them back again. I'm a bit fussy about my curtains. So there we go. Everything's clean. I've topped up the loo rolls, fresh towels, fresh glasses. Everything's good to go. All our cleaning products are eco because of our septic tank system. Just finish off the bedroom and I'm done. And I always like to finish by putting a few fresh flowers. So this is just a few bits from the garden. 
I've just emptied the dishwasher of all the breakfast things. So now I've got a session of putting things away. Some things will go into the servery, be covered up with tea towels ready to go out in the morning. Other things are going away into cupboards and some of it going up onto the landing. Uh, we have a coffee station up there. Of course, the rest of the house has to be hoovered through too. So especially if our clients have had access through the main door, so out into the garden, you have to do all this area out through the front door. And we always give them access to using the library and the salon. So this all has to be dusted and hoovered through. And at the front door, of course, what we have to do is check that the flags haven't rolled up. So either side of the door, we have a French tricolour and we have a Scottish flag. And that's what they do. They wrap themselves around. It's quite breezy here. We're on the top of a hill. There's a view across the valley. Um, so my trick for unfurling them is my trusty walking stick, which lives here. That's us on our wedding day. So trusty walking stick, because I'm not tall enough to get right up there and I have to unfurl it. At least once a day. I'm sure there must be a way of tethering them just so they don't do that. But let's, uh... these are flags that I made myself so I think at some point I shall have to make some new ones and I always check the front steps make sure it all looks nice that the plants are okay don't need a water, the flags are unfurled. And I also check all the shutters, just see what's open, what's shut. They're all doing what they should be doing, either sheltering us from the blazing heat or uh, the rain. And I'll check that that hasn't disintegrated as it sometimes does if we have very strong winds. We've got a bin down there for smokers. All good. In the back hall, we have all the promo for the area. So, places to go and do beekeeping, very pretty villages, festivals that are on. These QR codes give you the, the circular walks and the cycle rides around the area. Um, Chateau up on the Loire. We have some local ones too. Um, and this is one of the biggest zoos in France. So uh, that's 40 minutes away. And the other things I have over here are more local. So they're for the park, so our local Chateau. Big one is Aze Le Ferron, and this is all the things that are on in the, the Bren Park in the summer. That's our local zoo. So that's all local stuff and our promo as well. Um, calendar of walks in the area. So uh, I always check what's here and whether it needs a top up. This is the one that has all the restaurant guides in it. It's always very popular. The other thing to do is to top up this uh, coffee station we have on the landing. So we try and keep it topped up with um, enough for however many people staying that night. So we've got uh, four coming tonight. So there we go. I need to. Um, I'll bring some more water up. I always check the water tank that's got enough and that the flowers are okay. 
all good. I'm just putting the third lot of washing in. We've got about two more lots to go in. I'll just keep pushing it through today and then ironing this afternoon or evening. I've been joined by Millie and Molly. There are English cats. They're uh, quite elderly now. They're 13, nearly 14. Now it's time to fold the sheets before we iron them. been destroyed in the winds today it's yeah there's nothing left of it um, the frame is okay but the tent itself is absolutely shot to bits so I'm just gonna grab the game the blankets and things and take anything I can and uh, yeah leave it like that I think camping field and we've just cleared off the tent that's been torn to shreds and put the furniture onto the trailer. It's reduced some more rain and wind later on today so we're just going to put it in the barn just to try and save some of it. of the tent, all the lighting and uh, soft furnishings and things.